Air One. Greenpeace is climbing the world's tallest building today to tell the world not to be fooled by the liberal government. George Shahal is caught removing a flyer of his opponent, conservative incumbent Jag Sahota, from the door of a constituent. Mr. Trudeau is bad for Canada. How are you absolving yourself from responsibility? It's your agreement to keep them in power. Can you explain your comments about native women being uh, on crystal meth or pills if they're skinny? No comment. I've already, I've already addressed it. How much vitriol do we have to see of Hong Kong, which is an acronym for Hail Hitler? Canadians are curious, how much money did you take from Huawei? I'm not, I'm not going to go into that. It's your record that was liberal. And that fires are set in the hallways and corridors. That statement right there has been proven false, and there is no connection to the protesters whatsoever. It is absolutely unacceptable of this committee. Do you support ongoing criminalization of simple possession of drugs? That's a, look, I, I, I'm a member of the government, so I can't give you my opinion uh, as an individual or even as an individual MP. Veteran MP Judy Scro defended the Liberal leader by saying her black constituents love him even more because he wanted to have a black face. I really believe COVID has created a window of political opportunity. One of Trudeau's Liberal cabinet ministers caught on a hot mic. The question they're going to ask me, how much do I make now? Like 250? I want to remind the honorable members to turn off their microphones. A prime minister who openly admires the Chinese basic dictatorship who tramples on fundamental rights by persecuting and criminalizing his own citizens. Player two. When nobody believes you when you say you don't know. We need to be able to win the next election. 